Now, your weather forecast with meteorologist Brian Ramsey. Hey everybody and good morning. A live look from the tower camera showing clear skies, quiet weather as you head out the door this morning and the temperatures are sitting pretty comfortable but a little humid outside so keep that in mind. Satellite radar showing no rain across the south. We're not going to see any rain today, just sunny skies. Looks like the temperature is now at 70 in Baton Rouge. We're in the 60s in Hammond, but a little warmer in Slaughter at 73, even warmer in Gross Tet. Look at that, 76 degrees right now. So the winds are coming in light right now from the south and the east, so bringing in a little more humid air, but it's not coming in directly from the south anymore. It's a little more eastward direction rather than a southward direction. So less humidity coming in to our area this morning. That will lead to lower dew points this afternoon and lower or feels like temperatures, but it's still going to be a hot day. 93 for a high in Liberty, 92 in New Roads, Baton Rouge hitting 93. South of the 1012 corridor, also seeing 90s. A couple of 80s towards the coast, 89 in Homa and Franklin, Morgan City, 87. But farther north, the warmer you are, Plaquemine at 93 for a high today. Future track radar is pretty quiet, nothing really to show you other than a couple clouds here and there. We're going to be keeping sunny skies with us, and it's going to be a rain free day today, so leave the umbrella at home. But we do have changes in the forecast. Now, one of the reasons we're so hot is because uh, we got this high pressure system sitting directly over us, this big ridge of high pressure. Uh, and then you see the jet stream here, which usually drives weather changes. And we can see a big change here as you go over the west coast there. They've got an active weather pattern, colder weather over the west coast. But here we have this big rise in the jet stream, and that's allowing all that warm air from the Gulf to move in. And that's one reason we're so hot. And it's actually going to be growing over the next couple of days, which means we could get even hotter, maybe back into the mid 90s by Thursday. But once we go to Friday, that high pressure begins to break down. And we do see some changes in the forecast, maybe even some rain on Friday and Saturday once that high breaks down. So the next couple of days, they're going to be pretty hot. But once that high breaks down, you can see those temperatures dropping and the rain chance is increasing around that time. Today will still be a hot day though with plenty of sunshine. So get ready for it this morning in the 60s and 70s, but the afternoon will be in the 80s and 90s. Low 90s for highs, but check this out. Looks like we're going to be in the mid 90s for the feels like temperatures, the heat index. So it is going to be a hot one. Get ready for it. Tomorrow also pretty hot and sunny. Same goes for Thursday. Once we get to Friday, we're still at 92, but we do see some spotty showers moving in the area and some scattered storms also likely on Saturday. Once we go to Sunday, the rain leaves us, and then we heat up again with more sunshine into next week. The precipitation outlook looks to be right around average for this time of year beyond that seven-day forecast, but we could continue to see above-average temperatures as we go into the middle to later portion of May. Back to you.